Hey, Jill, it's time for, you did this in the tease, it was Swoon Worthy Wednesday. Swoon Worthy yes. Wednesday. Yes, uh, with yeah. our friends from Indianapolis <laughs> Monthly Magazine. Welcome to Food and Dining Editor Eve Beatty and Lindsay Faust from Canal Creamery, home of a baklava sundae that we're going to try. Doesn't Hi, that guys. sound awesome? I don't even hello, know if we've had baklava hello. on the show hello. in general. I know, Hi, guys. seriously. How you like Rice said, yeah, the Greek side of me is very excited I for this. I, yes. I, I just oh, realized yeah. that this floral planter is a waffle cone. Doesn't that yeah. look cute? Love that. Yeah, yeah. Like, edible, but... Uh, don't eat it. <laughs> yeah. Not this time. Not, yeah. not, not this not time. Let's talk about, first of all, why they were chosen as the spoon worthy dish, Eve. Oh, well, it was um, very shortly. I am new to Indianapolis Monthly. Okay. I um, also live in San Francisco. I had just gotten here, and um, Canal Creamy had just opened. And mm -hmm. I stopped, looked at the menu, was in the mood for something sweet, and I thought baklava sundae. I've yeah. never seen that even in San Francisco, which is, you know, known as a foodie a town. Yeah. And I thought, well, i got to give this a shot. I tried it, and I thought it was so good. I went back to the office, and I was like, do you guys know about this? Yeah. And somehow the newbie knew about it. And everybody else didn't. Nice. That's great. So, it, and it was just great because it was this cool mix of the baklava, you know, the vanilla ice cream, yeah. Yeah. the toppings, and it felt like what Indianapolis feels like to me. This okay. sort of like exciting mix, this level of diversity, Aww. this sweetness. I it just that. like, I felt like I was being welcomed home. Yeah, that's great, especially oh, to hear so from a, a, hand, a transplant Hoosier that you feel that already. That's beautiful. Oh, well, that's really thanks. cool. I would love to get a taste of this. So, Absolutely. how's it assembled? First of all, how did you come up with this? So we really wanted to kind of be able to create our own space in this community. Um, and so we thought, why not come up with a dish that highlights something that we know we do well. It's yeah. been a staple at our sister business, Canal Bistro, for 20 plus years. Um, everyone adores it. Yeah. And so we thought, you know, how can you go wrong with a fuck of a Sunday? Yeah, let's do <laughs> exactly. Well, let's make one. Okay. What's the first step. So we're going to grab our dish. Okay. Which we all have one. Oh, oh thank you. Yes. Yes. Make one. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Like there's only two spoons. Oh okay. no, we were ready. We were, we were back ready. To Absolutely. And honestly, like we can all maybe just rotate because this is the sure. exact order and we okay. will okay. assemble. So we're gonna take. A bunch of baklava. Now, okay. Lindsay, this baklava, as mm -hmm. I recall from speaking to mm -hmm. your owner, is yeah. made in house. Fresh every single oh, day. That's and awesome. One mm -hmm. of the things that's special about it, as I recall, is um, a lot of times when you get baklava, it's like very heavy with honey. Sure. And yeah. um, George was telling me that instead, it's like you make your own simple syrup, and so it's mm -hmm. a little less sort of overwhelmingly sweet. Okay. Yeah. And I think that that makes it play really well with the ice cream. Yes, yeah. absolutely. It's great. I love that. It seems yes. like it would be a tedious thing to have to make every day but it seems like it's also very popular it's so it's in demand. worth it we make it in these huge and if you look on our instagram yeah. canal creamery broad ripple we actually i've taken so many videos of just these amazing pans of baklava oh, yeah. and it's so just cool. you can see all of the nuts and everything That's just great. layered on top yeah wow. so we another fun thing that yeah. really kind of gives us our unique Kind of quality is our portion sizes okay. are pretty fun. You've got a great so. chef down there too, Jill. These yes. are strong. Yes, she's doing wonderful. No, she. You've got to have a sturdy base. Absolutely. Yes. Yes. You might as well clock in. So we are going to <laughs> go ahead. We're going to take three scoops of ice cream. Oh, wow. Yeah, this looks like good ice cream too. Yeah. And one of the things I noticed when I ordered it is that the baklava was slightly warmed, so you get that. It's like sort of yeah. serving pie a la mode mm -hmm. without being pie a la mode. Okay. And I was like super into that. Yeah, that's cool. All right. I love that combination of flavors and temperatures. Oh, and textures, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, this ice cream looks great, too. Do you guys have a secret or a, 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 a special thing about your ice cream there? No, at the George searched far and wide to find the ice cream that he was, you know, happy with. Yeah. And so he really went through a lot of different, you know, tastings and companies and all sorts of stuff until he finally settled on the vanilla ice cream yeah. and every other oh, flavor yeah. that we have. Yeah, George knows so. his stuff. Absolutely. No, George really knows his stuff. <laughs> when I talked to him, he told me that he had owned franchises of Okay, I'm going to get this wrong, so correct me, uh, Hoosiers. Yep. Maggie Moose? Yeah, sure. Did yeah. I get it right? Yeah. Oh, Which, my like, gosh. in, and yeah. he actually had one. So when I was in high school, my first ever job was at the Cinnabon at the Greenwood Park Mall. Oh, come on. We were superstars. Yeah. Um, and he, and I think that that ice creamery later moved into the Cinnabon, okay. where I worked as a wee, wee last. So it was meant to so be. So it's, it's, it's all meant to be. It's very it's all meant to be. It's yeah. It comes full yeah. circle. Yeah, yeah. that's what I was going to say. I love that. Because he's my 
my boss, and I knew because I've been asking him the backstory yeah. before I came on this segment, yeah. and I knew that he owned. Well, I'm a journalist. I just think I'm like, I have all the dirt. I'll tell you off camera. My grandpa <laughs> yeah. literally would take me to Maggie Lou's every day yeah. after school. Yeah. I, I can't believe he it. owns several the locations of that in right all of our now. local malls. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, not I'm astonished. It could have happened. Could have happened. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, you mentioned the parent company is Canal uh, Bistro in Broader Bowl. Yeah. I absolutely love that place. Me too. I didn't even realize yeah. that this was on the menu. Oh, yeah. Next time I go, sure. I got to make sure that I get it. Okay, so we're doing the scoops of ice cream. And oh, then yeah. is it just kind of a free for all as far as <laughs> toppings, or do you have a very specific <laughs> topping set up? So we're kind of. Okay, I'm going to give yeah. you. Are you, are you a nuts person? Uh, yes, please. Okay. I, I am nuts. Thank you. <laughs> We're honestly. Is, there's no, is, there, is there anybody who's no nut here? No. no. All right. No. Thank then. you for asking. Yes. All I'm right. always worried about that. We would totally just kind of cover oh. this in nuts. Yeah. And yeah. Then Everyone would, down for sprinkles? Use, well, so we would use oh, hot yeah. fudge. So for, so for the... Today we're using ketchup? Yes. <laughs> so for all intents and purposes, Great. we're using chocolate sauce. Okay. Um, yeah. Because the... Thank you. Hot fudge could not be transparent. Yeah. But yes. yeah, we're just going to totally douse this. It's weird to see hot butter or uh, chocolate syrup coming out of a ketchup bottle. Yeah, I, I know. So everyone can just pretend that it's a, a pretty clear glass bottle. Yes, and so sprinkles and caramel, caramel. would not go okay. with the oh, okay. sundae, but I figured. Why not? Why not? Why not? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's, so yeah. it's kind of like, you know. okay. yeah. So you got the chocolate. Oh, it looks like we've got, we yeah. got the whipped cream. Oh, yeah. Whipped oh, yeah. cream. Oh, and then you got the cherry on top. <laughs> is this going to blow out our audio if I do this? I would love some oh, caramel sauce. Oh, I'm it's terrible like at this. It's our finest. Oh, wow. Would yes, like please. I would love that. Yes. Right, here we go. Yes, yes. Okay. I, I, lo <laughs> I love that there's so much going on here. Yep. Yeah. I don't even know what's happening at this point. I know. <laughs> Which I do not approve. I yeah, but we got a cherry for all here. Yeah. Yeah. But you know, you it's like uh, oh, okay. this, yeah. Anybody want to? Oh, cool. Okay, give it two. There we go. Well, yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. well, so it's, it's too early for me. Yeah, no, it's fine. <laughs> all yeah. right. Mm -hmm. it's Thank you. Normal. So it's normal. It's normal around here. Okay. Good. Well, okay, I think we, we gotta wrap this up. Get some of the melty ice cream. You get the idea. So it's like nice and wet. This. This is what this is what it would look so like. This is the print. There one. it is. Yes. Look if you at it. That. It, would look, it would look good. It oh my look gosh, is that amazing? If you, if you go to IndianapolisMonthly.com, yeah. you'll see a professionally made version wow. on our website right now. That's so good. Yes, and go get the new issue of mm -hmm. Indianapolis Monthly Magazine. Uh, Indy 500 guy Tony mm -hmm. Kanan is uh, on the cover there. Friends, thank you. This was a great, great time. We love it. Thank you so Thanks much. One way to kick off the show. You bet. Amazing dish. Coming up next, our friend and registered dietitian Caitlin Wong will share some helpful hacks for healthy living. It does not include uh, baklava Sundays, but that's the balance of life. Yeah, you know, yeah. she's always making things easy, <laughs> breaking it down. Caitlin, we'll see you soon. Right, I got to end this with a whipped cream yeah, shot for we you go. as well. Uh, go ahead. Uh -huh. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> Thank you very much.